so we're here at the fence between Conservacion Patagonica and Chilean military land. So we know on Conservacion Patagonica side there is um, almost no grazing now, whereas on this side, owned by the Chilean military, there's I believe 17,000 head of sheep. So we know there's a lot more grazing on this side. We also know there's dogs. So we're trying to figure out if these dogs have influenced the Nandu or whether the Nandu are able to cross onto this side of the fence without being preyed on by dogs. So how we do that is we're walking along the fence and every 250 meters we're going to do a vegetation transect, one meter by one meter, looking for a percentage of different vegetation, ground cover. And then after we do that, we're gonna walk 50 meters alongside the fence in two directions, looking for signs of any signs of predators, such as scat, dogs, so cats. Not good, so not good. Um, definitely expecting to see more signs of predators on this side of the fence, and ultimately wondering whether this barrier affects the presence of Nandu and whether there should be a way for Nandu to cross over this border. Not a fan. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. So you guys just got back from your survey. We did. Did, did you see any Nandu? We didn't, no. What about signs? Uh, unfortunately, we didn't see any signs. We were really hoping to see some scat, and we were really hoping to see some, some tracks, uh, but unfortunately, we didn't see anything. Not particularly fresh, but perhaps the freshest we've seen. Um, we're walking along this fence right now, looking for droppings, which could be a sign uh, that they're spending a lot of time along the fence, perhaps in attempts to cross. It is a big bird! This is so cool! That's the breastplate. Yeah. What a big bird. Yeah, that's yeah. It's so big. Look at that foot. That foot is terrifying. Yeah. That yeah, looks like a feet. dinosaur. Totally. The whole thing looks like a dinosaur. Check out its claws. Yeah. I mean, and this is this yeah. is no small thing. I mean, every mortality is important to document because last population count here was, was 20, 19. Oh, Okay, so today is our third day on the Nandu project. We're here at the Nandu Research Center. Yesterday we also found uh, a dead Nandu, which we thought was recent. It sounds like it's a bit older than we thought. But um, it's exciting to see the Nandu here. There's nine of them, and two of them are natives. The other ones are from a different population, and the plan is to re reintroduce them to the population here introduced genetic diversity because at the moment the population in the Chacabuco is inbreeding. We know there's a much larger population on the Argentinian side of the border which has a lot more arid grassy steppe land like this. So our research is preliminary but we're basically looking at whether there needs to be or could be some sort of corridor between the Argentinian population and the Chilean population. Um, whether that means taking down fences or creating some sort of wildlife corridor for Nandu to pass from one population to the other and maintain genetic diversity. All those are the questions that we're working towards with this and we'll be working towards in the future. It's definitely a high, you know? Like, you see something and you know, like, you've been waiting to see it, all that anticipation finally just like yeah. burst almost. To see it run it's across awesome. the landscape like that. It's incredible. Good day. Did we just effectively see like half the Nandu population? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> in one day? 
That's awesome.